All right, so we are doing our matumbos. We're getting there, we're halfway. So you need some oil. Make sure you put the oil first. Most people start with the kitungu, it's wrong. Yeah, matumbo has a bit of mafuta, so you just need a bit of it. Then it hits for about a minute or about two minutes, then we can put our kitungu. So slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, put your onions, put your onions, put your onions. Okay, so there we have it, our onions. Yeah, as much onion as possible. Koroga, koroga. You need your kitungu just a bit brown, okay? Doesn't have to burn so much. Can I have a tomatoes going? Tomatoes going. Slowly by slowly. Eat koroga, koroga. Yeah. Then let it cook for about two, three minutes. Yeah. Then you can move on. Remember your matumbo is cooked because you boiled it, so you, you need all this to cook fast. So our tomatoes, I'm giving it just like a minute, then uh, we can add our matumbo. A minute is, is done, I need to put my matumbo. Oh, the smell guys, woo! So if you are with me, get your matumbos. They are boiled, cut into small pieces, then you just put. Slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly. Oops, oops. So there you have, there you have. We're doing matumbo fries. So father, we don't read Roger Roger Hapa, okay? So Koroga Koroga. Koroga Koroga. Now this is a point to put our salt. Uh, depends on how much you need. Um, if you have a problem with salt, of course don't put. But if you don't like me, put. A bit of salt, a bit of it, a bit of it. Remember, Royco has salt, by the way. It's spiced. Wow. You love the color, don't you? So I let it cook for about five minutes, then we proceed. Wow. Wow. Uh, we need something else I'm going to add to our matumbo is dania. I'm in love with danias. So I have them here, I have my daniyas, get fresh ones, you can cut the daniyas, again make sure that there is nothing inside that is not dynamic, yeah? So there we have it, there we have it, so our daniya is ready, it's good to go, so and our matumba is just about to cook. Mm -hmm. So here I am. I'm going to put our Royco. Can I test the salt? I can. I was told yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Need a little bit more, a little more of salt. Mm-hmm. That's how you need to taste. Then add. Then Royco. Now this is the most important thing. Okay, make sure your Royco. Don't be afraid to put your Royco. Please put. Yeah, as you chew. Mm -hmm. So put enough of your Royco. So I believe that's enough for today. Until tomorrow next time. Goodbye. Anyway, so yeah, you're good to go. You're good to go. It's turning color. I'm telling you, and a smell coming out of the. Oh dear me, you want to come to our home to eat for real. So our matumbo is almost ready. Now this is what I do. Some guys prefer to put the daniyas first. Yeah, as you are uh, you're burning your kitungu, but I prefer to put the daniyas last so that when I put them, actually even when I have put the, uh, the fire off, when I put the daniyas and just funikia the sufuria, this, that scent of daniya, the good scent of daniya remains with the food. So my matumbo is ready. Mm-hmm. So that took about less than even eight minutes about, yeah? Because our matumbo is already boiled, okay? So we put off the fire, put off the fire, make sure, funika with the lid, then chop the daniyas. So we need to chop them. Small, small, small. Again, not too small, yeah? Okay, there we have it, there we have it. 
So we have our dhanias ready. So all you need to do is put the dhanias right to your matumbos. Slowly by slowly. Slowly by slowly. You can choose to leave the danias on top without mixing with the matumbo. Then we are just about to serve. You just mix it. Dania is cooks very fast. So just with the steam and the you know, uh, it cooks quite fast. So you can choose to do that, or because we are just about to eat, you can choose to karoga karoga. So you can have a look at that. The color is quite appetizing. Look like you, you want to eat it. So our matumbo is ready. Next is terere. All right, so we are done with matumbo. We are moving on to terere, which is going to take us like in about 10 minutes, should be eating. All right, so I'll have my oil. Okay, make sure your sufra doesn't have water. Eh? This is what happens with it has. So make sure your sufra is dry, then you pour the oil, burn for about two minutes, then you can put your tungu. Slowly by slowly, remember we need your face. Then, there we have it. You stir it till it's brown. All right, so my kitungu is getting brown. It's browning, you don't have to let it brown so much. Yeah, then you can add your tomatoes. So add your tomatoes, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, yeah. Add your tomatoes. Karoga. And just as we had done for matumbo, make sure uh, it cooks for about two, three minutes, yeah. Yep. Then you give it about two, three minutes. In the meantime, you can be clearing your kitchen, okay? To have so that you have more space. So my tomatoes is ready. Mm -hmm. So I am just going to have my terere, which I had washed, cut in big pieces. So I am just going to put it in. Yeah. Then we just karoga, karoga, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly. Remember, you need a big sufuri aya. Yeah? Don't use a smaller. It's going to give you problems. So just ample space, good. So Dani, I mean, uh, terera is a bit bitter, so you don't put a lot of salt. So I, I believe this is going to be enough for us. Then there we have it, there we have it. So it's very soft. It takes quite a short time to cook. So you need to not to go very far. Yeah, we can give it time. You can give it some time, just for Nika. So uh, my terere is ready. Make sure it doesn't cook for long, yeah? It has cooked for about seven minutes at most. So that is good ample time. It's very soft, cooks very fast. So I'm just going to put my roiko. I said uh, you don't put the roiko first because it sticks on the sufuria. So I'm just going to put it now. Then it's going to cook for about a minute. Then we are good to go. So my meal is ready. Yeah, just a bit of rice this time round. Yeah, then we have it there. Mm. Karoga, karoga. Yeah, let the rice cook for about a minute. Let the rice cook for about a minute. Then my meal is ready. Now let me test the mat. Okay, nice. Mm. How is it? Mm. Wow. <laughs> All right. It is great. Wow. Thank I you love very it. much. Thank Fried you very Matumbo much. Mm -hmm. has never tasted it. Wow. <laughs> I hope you as taste the same. Yes. Yeah. You're gifted. All right. Thank you. Great. Okay. I love the stew. Mm -hmm. And I love the taste. Mm -hmm. And uh, you didn't make it too oily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to make it oily. Matumbo in itself has a lot of oil. So just a bit to burn the kitungu. Then you just put the matumbo. And of course, please, don't put the water. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> we are frying. It's fry matumbo, so it's not raja raja. Okay. So, yeah. I anyway. hear you. Yeah. Ugali, mm -hmm. fried matumbo. And tarere. And tarere. Good. This is a great meal. Thank you. And what a recipe. Wow. <laughs> if you miss, um, here's the recap so you can know exactly what happened. How Fresha prepared this great meal. Mm -hmm. Today's meal, we had ugali, we had tarere, and we had matumbo. For ugali, it's just what I'd like, yeah? For ugali, you boil water in a sofria, add flour slowly by slowly, stir until it's ready to eat. And now moving on to terere, we had uh, 10 bunches of terere, we had 2 big onions, we had 4 big tomatoes, of course the frying oil, salt and broad cough to taste. Steps. Heat the oil in a large saucepan, add the onions and fry for a few minutes. Add the tomatoes and fry it just for a few minutes. Add the terere and cook for about 10 minutes. Then add roiko to taste. Alright, make sure that your matumbo is well, uh, well washed. Yeah. Then boil for about 2 hours. It takes time to boil. Then uh, heat the oil in a pan. Add the onions and fry for about 2 minutes. Add the tomatoes. Add the boiled matumbo. Add salt and roiko to taste. And finally, add dania, then just funika, let it simmer, serve while it's hot. Well, viewers, I promised you this season will be super. Another great Kenyan meal prepared with Royko. I hope you enjoyed it. You can send us any comments and suggestions on this show to viakulaviatu at kbc.co.ke. Also, if you'd like to share with us your meal on this show, send us your ingredients and recipe and we will be sure to get back to you. As for now, I will go back inside and get myself a second helping. You'll have a lovely week. Via Kula Vietu was brought to you by Royco. Mm -hmm.